All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to add a server to your server manager. Um, as you guys can see here, I have three servers. So I have my 410 server one, 410 server two, and then 410 server core. Uh, and then what we're gonna be doing is, I already added my 410 server core. Um, so we're gonna add my 410 server two over, and over to server one, and it just, a lot easier to manage all your servers and they don't even have to be on they don't have to be running you can just do it um, through PowerShell and stuff like that so it's a lot more um, efficient and uh, better for productivity and stuff like that so to start off um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, once this loads here gonna go ahead and open our command prompt or PowerShell so let's go ahead and wait for this to load All right, guys. So once you're once you're ready to go, um, your server's ready. You want to click on the start menu and then open up PowerShell, or you can type CMD that opens command prompt. And uh, then once that once that pulls up, you just type PowerShell, and then you're basically in PowerShell that way. Um, but easiest way is just to open up PowerShell, and then you guys are gonna want to type in this command right here so it's gonna be set dash item w s m a n colon backslash localhost backslash client backslash trusted host and then space 410 server core so that's the name of my or 410 server 2 so that's the name of the server that I'm adding so 410 server 2 right here um, and then on the, another one, on a, on a separate command, I also did 410 server 2.410 server 2012. So that's the whole name, the DNS and all that. So I would do both of them because sometimes um, it doesn't work with one of them and it's a lot better to, you know, just to go through. Um, so after you type in the name of your server, you want to do space dash concatenate and then space dash force. So you hit enter on that and then if you get an error that means that you type something wrong so you're going to want to make sure you have it all typed in correctly. Um, so after, after you type in that command it will just come up with just how it is right here on my screen. So then what we're going to do is you open up your server manager and like I said I already added my 410 server core so that's how it should look once you add it. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to manage after we tapped in that command we go to manage add servers go to DNS and now you type in the name of your server so you do 410 to so minus 410 ser server 2 enter and it'll pop up right there if it doesn't come up um, you did something wrong or there's a firewall issue that you need to um, figure out um, because after you enter in that command, that should go right through. Uh, so now we're going to click, we add it over with this button right here, and then you click OK. So it'll add it on there, it's going to be in progress, and then it might give you an error. If it does, oh, nope, so that went through just fine. Um, like I said, if it gives you an error, it's because of a firewall issue um, or something like that that you need to configure, the remote management. So let's see, let's go ahead and move on. So it added the 410 server 2 now, and then if you click on it, um, you'll see that the events change. So here's my 4, 410 server 1, the events for that, 410 server 2, my server core. Um, you know, all this changes to the server that you know, you're, you're on. And um, if you click on it and then right click, you can open up like PowerShell, uh, computer management so for example let's do PowerShell um, we can enter in a command here let's type in let's see let's type get oh gotta be in it it loads okay so let's type in get dash Windows features feature hit enter 
loading. And then here you see um, a list of features on the 410 server 2 or whatever server you're on um, that you can add or remove um, all using the remote management, the, the pirate shell, stuff like that. So you can exit out of here. Like I said, you can go to any one of these remote desktop connection, computer management. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it.